so as far as wood versus hexamine, I'm, I'm thinking probably both. I'd use both. Um, here's my, here's the kit I'm using. It's just a canteen kit. Basically, uh, I use this liner though to keep things clean and also have it so it comes out easy because I notice some people struggle with the coming out. So it's like a nine by 12 pouch that I line it in. That way it comes out easily. There's no struggle. I don't, not a big fan of the struggle. So, um, got the, uh, the stove here and it's obviously dirty. I don't, there's no need to clean it. So I do try to keep the clean parts separate from the dirty parts. So I got clean here, clean, and then uh, dirty, dirty, and dirty. So that, that way I don't have to clean. It's tough to clean stuff when you're out camping too. So minimal amount of uh, clean surfaces. But that's why I use this to line it, keep my canteen pouch clean as well. Seems to work. The uh, stove I'm using is this one here from Amazon. It's 20 bucks. Seems to work. They make a uh, bottle version of it too. There's the uh, Pathfinder version. Works very well. I was trying to find something that would work for both wood and like esbets or hexamine. Here I got some uh, some wood. The spoon there I'm using is the Human Gear spoon. More on that later, I guess. But um, the wood is good. You just have to keep feeding it. You have to make sure you stay on top of it and you're feeding it constantly. Here's that uh, Human Gear spoon that I was using. Uh, Wood though it burns a little dirtier. Uh, it's cheap though too. Here's you can buy it, but you can usually find it for free if you just walk around and pick it up as you go. But once again with the wood, you usually have to process it. It's kind of a pain in the ass. And um, as far as the esbets go or hexamine, you can get the uh, buy the esbets. Here's the uh, on Amazon. There's a new one, a new style here that I've bought some. It's uh, Expedition research probably it's all this. I think it's pretty much all the same stuff Here it starts pretty easy here. I'm using a cotton uh, Or Vaseline infused cotton ball. It's what I've been using now to start all my fires. It seems to go very very easily very very fast and Like I said, I'm not not into the pain in the ass the the can there well more than that later but um, As far as I think the wood probably brought it to a boil faster than the hexamine did and this is just off the embers, and there's there's the, there I'm using the esbit right there, or not esbit, but a hexamine tablet. Yeah, I think I had to use two 14 gram tablets to bring it to a boil. That was two cups. As far as the cups go, is measuring it. You know, regular canteen cup doesn't have the measuring lines, which people prefer. I know a lot of other uh, cook pots do have it, but all you have to do is just take your Nalgene or whatever. You know, if it's 32 ounces, down to if you want two cups, just go down to pour it out till it goes 16 ounces. You know, then you got two cups. Uh, the canteen I'm using is the uh, Oasis. Can't find these anymore. Here's a picture of a bigger mouth one, but can't find any of these anymore. I don't know why. Very difficult to find. As far as my fire kit, here's the here's the lid for the canteen cup, and this is like an EMT pouch or a, a IFAC pouch that I keep all my fire stuff in. And got the Vaseline there. I've infused cotton balls with Vaseline, or uh, I use also Vaseline to protect my ferro rod when I'm not using it, keeps it from rusting. Uh, here's some cotton pads I found in the uh, bathroom. There's the little stand. The stand is important because for hexamine, there's a window of uh, that you have to achieve, which is an inch and a half to two two and a half inches. These are the three ounce cans of tuna, not the five ounce cans. And you get in that window of uh, one and a half to two inches and that's where it burns the hottest. So you gotta, that's why I have to use a stand. That's, I was looking for a stove where I could use both uh, wood and hexamine. And that's kind of what this is all about. Uh, here's some of my fire kit. Here's magnesium thing's a piece of shit. Don't even, it's horrible. Compared to a ferro rod, it's miserable. Uh, one of the more valuable parts of this whole kit is actually this cotton. Get 100% cotton, infuse it with Vaseline. I'm, I need to refill this, get it full again. But that's what I used to start the fires. It makes it a lot easier, a lot faster. Like I said, I'm just getting tired of uh, struggling with shit. So, And this is over years of trial and error, trying to find out what works. 
and I used this little uh, sock. It had a hole in it in the heel, so I cut off the toe part, and I used that to keep this uh, rest of the stuff dirty because that gets really dirty too. I try to keep stuff relatively clean by isolating it from other items. And that's about it.